All right, so the uh, Anycubic Cobra Go, Bed Leveling, and Cura. I thought I'd share today, for those who are interested, how to be able to ensure that the bed leveling is turned on and the fade function is turned off. And for those who don't want to use prompt or phase and go into the EE prom, if you use Cura, there's a very, very easy way to be able to set it up to ensure that for each of your prints that the bed leveling is turned on. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. It's not complicated. If you stick around for a few minutes and you're interested, I'll show you. But I also wanted to let you know that I love this printer and I didn't always love it. Uh, it was extremely frustrating at a certain point. There's a huge lack of information available for dealing with this thing. So I thought that I would uh, focus some videos specifically on this printer to try to help out in the community because I'm seeing a lot of people in forums that are struggling with this thing to the point where they're ready to give up on it. Whereas I can tell you 100% that this is a fantastic printer. You can get excellent quality prints out of it and it is repeatable. Every time that I experiment and things go south i always come back a step and i'll reprint things so the owl that you see there i mean i've printed probably eight of them and it was from that very very first owl that printed perfect and then everything else after that wasn't going so well that was very discouraging until i made some discoveries so the thing hand that you see there's two that are on deck but I've printed at least six of those and people love them, so I give them away. Uh, the alien in the background, no supports were used to print that thing. And I mean, it's got a huge overhang on the back of that head and it did an incredible job. One of the things that I always hate about videoing and taking photographs of prints is that in the photograph, you can see uh, things look worse than they actually are. When you're holding it in your hand and the finish looks fantastic in comparison to studying it under a microscope. So calibration cubes on the left, I mean, I've printed so many of those. Uh, and that's another item that I'll come back to time and time again uh, if I'm experimenting to see uh, that I want to try something different or make a discovery what a setting in Cura might do. Uh, I always take one step. Uh, forward and if things don't go well I back up to go like okay can I still print the item and have it come up looking out fantastic and definitely that is the case with this printer so that being said though I will switch over to Cura to show you how to be able to add the setting to ensure that the bed leveling is turned on okay hang in there just give me a sec all right so I've already got Cura open and this is version 5.3 so it doesn't really matter which version it is that you've got open but what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the settings you're going to click printer and you're going to come down to manage printers but you'll notice that i've got mine set up as a creality ender 3 ender 3 version 2. okay so you come in here and you click manage printers and there you see the preset printer that i use you come over to machine settings and what you have to do is this line that is here that says M420S1Z0 or Z0, whichever you prefer, this line needs to be added after the G28 line. Okay, so once upon a time, someone gave me advice related to this line, but I didn't understand what it meant. So it led me down the garden path to a certain degree and all kinds of heartache but i'm going to explain it to you and i'm just going to back up here to show you that when you open this up this is what it will look like you will have the g28 line that is basically telling the printer to home all the axes and then the next line will go to a g1z20 f3000 so this is where the beginning code starts it applies this code to every file that you slice and save in G code that you're going to feed into the printer so all you have to do 
is you come along, you hit enter, you're going to go M420, and M420 stands for auto bed leveling. You're going to hit S1, and what that means is, is that it's turning on the bed leveling. If you would hit S0, it means that you're turning it off. Then the next item that you're going to put, and you're only putting this in because you may have a value in the Z figure on your EEPROM. Putting Z0 here will override that. Z0 is turning off the fade function. Okay, Any value above 0 will turn on the fade function, and there's some consequences to doing that. One that I found, because it was set to Z10, means that it'll fade out at 10 millimeters. The problem is, is that the layers working their way up to that 10 millimeters, I don't know what it's doing uh, to the code of the sliced object that you're trying to print. But the results are that you will end up with microscopic cracks up to whatever value is entered there. So in my case, it was 10. So I was having these microscopic cracks all the way up to approximately the 10 millimeter mark. And then after that, it would print very, very well. So to turn off that fade function, make sure you set it to Z0. Coming up soon, I am going to show you, I'm going to create another YouTube video where I'm going to show you the implications of setting a value there. I'm hoping that one day that I might be able to discover uh, a value added by using the fade function. But at the moment, I do not know what that is. And at the moment, with my turning that fade function off, is what is allowing me, well, it's part of what's allowing me to have such great uh, printing results on the items that you saw on the, the build plate. So. There's, there's no saving that is required. You just simply are going to close this up. Uh, then you can open up your uh, model uh, that you want to be slicing and then go through the usual uh, settings, slice it, save it, load it onto the SD card, and load it into the printer. I hope that this helps. My goal is to try to help others in the community to be able to enjoy this printer and to get to the point where they can realize that this printer it works well there are steps that need to be taken and that you have to work through and it's frustrating like crazy but thankfully at a certain point i gave it a break i came back to it and i started from the beginning i started all over again and i've been working my way through and i now have full confidence in this printer to be able to create quality prints and thanks so much for watching i really hope it helps you and keep your eyes peeled i've got something really fun exciting and interesting to share with you and i will most likely be working on that tomorrow